Hi everyone, I am Madam Liang. I'm glad to be here to demonstrate to you how to carry out experiment 1. The title for this experiment is Measurement and Uncertainty. The learning outcomes of this experiment are to measure the length of the various objects and to determine the uncertainty of the land of various objects. List of apparatus. The apparatus that required for setting up the experiment are a meter rule, a vernier calipers, a micrometer screw gauge, a traveling microscope, a coin either 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, or 50 cents. Glass rock a ball bearing, and a capillary tube. The procedure. Choose the appropriate instrument for the measurement of Roman 1, the length of the laboratory manual, Roman 2, the diameter of a coin, Roman 3, the external diameter of a glass rock, and Roman 4, the diameter of a ball bearing. However, in this PowerPoint, I will demonstrate using other objects instead of the four objects mentioned above. You have to figure out by yourself the most suitable instrument to be used for measurements of the four objects and gives you more accurate results. For example, what instrument should we use for measuring the length of a pen? You are great, it is meter rule. You may measure the length of the pen using single point reading where you place one end of the pen at the zero marking. You just take the reading at the right end of the pen. The uncertainty of single point reading is half of the smallest division of the meter rule, which is 0.05 cm. Therefore, the length of the pen is recorded as 14.10 plus minus 0.05 cm. You may also measure the length of the pen using two points reading. Take the reading on the left end of the pen and also take the reading on the right end of the pen. The length of the pen is 24.5 minus 10.4, which is 14.1 cm. The uncertainty for two points reading is the smallest division of the meter rule, which is 0.1 cm. Therefore, the length of the pen is recorded as 14.1 plus minus 0.1 cm. Procedure 2. Perform the measurement and record your results in a suitable table for at least 5 readings. If you measure the length of the pen using single point reading, the sensitivity of the measuring instrument is recorded as plus minus 0.05 cm in the column header. Since the sensitivity consists of two decimal places, therefore, all the five readings recorded must also consist of two decimal places. If you measure the length of the pen using two points reading, the sensitivity of the measuring instrument is recorded as plus minus 0.1 cm in the column header. Since the sensitivity consists of one decimal place, therefore, all the five readings recorded must also consist of one decimal place. Another example, what instrument should we use for measuring the diameter of a pen? You are great, it is vernier calipers. Before we use the vernier calipers to measure the diameter of the pen, please check for any zero error. Make sure the jaws of the vernier calipers are fully closed. Since the zero marks on the main scale and the vernier scale coincide each other, therefore, for these vernier calipers, there is no zero error. Place the pen into the outside jaws. Move the jaws closer until the pen is gripped. Then 
tighten the screw before taking the measurement. Read the main scale mark directly to the left of the zero mark on the vernier scale. In this case, the reading on the main scale is 0.8 cm or 8 mm. Read the vernier scale mark that coincides with a marking on the main scale. In this case, the reading on the vernier scale is 0.94 mm. The actual measurement of the diameter of the pen is then the sum of the main scale reading and the vernier scale reading, which is 8.00 plus 0.94. Therefore, the diameter of the pen is 8.94 millimeter. Therefore, the diameter of the pen is recorded as 8.94 plus minus 0.02 mm, where 0.02 mm is the sensitivity of the measuring instrument, which is the vernier calipers. Measure the diameter at five different positions along the pen for at least five readings. The sensitivity of the measuring instrument is recorded as plus minus 0.02 mm in the column header. Since the sensitivity consists of two decimal places, therefore, the five readings recorded must also consist of two decimal places. The uncertainty of the vernier scale is plus minus 0.02 mm, and the last digit is of even number. Therefore, the last digit of all the measured values must show even numbers only. Another example. What instrument should we use for measuring the thickness of the 50 cents coin? You are great. It is micrometer screw gauge. Please check for any zero error. Make sure the angle is in contact with the spindle when checking for the zero error. The zero mark on the timber scale is above the datum line of the main scale. Therefore, the zero error of this micrometer screw gauge is negative 50 minus 46 divisions multiplied with 0.01 mm. It gives a negative zero error of 0.04 mm. Place the coin between the anvil and spindle. Turn the timbre until the anvil and spindle grip the coin. Then turn the ratchet until it starts to click for careful tightening. Read the main scale reading at the edge of the timbre. In this case, the reading on the main scale is 1.5 mm. Then read the timbre scale mark that coincides with the datum line of the main scale. In this case, it is 0.27 mm. The actual reading of the diameter of the coin is the sum of the main scale reading and the timbre scale reading minus the negative zero error. Therefore, the diameter of the coin is 1.81 millimeter. Thus, the diameter of the coin is recorded as 1.81 plus minus 0.01 mm, where 0.01 is the sensitivity or uncertainty of the micrometer screw gauge. Measure the thickness of the coin at five different positions for at least five readings. The sensitivity of the measuring instrument is recorded as plus minus 0.01 mm in the column header. Since the sensitivity consists of two decimal places, therefore, all the five readings recorded here must also consist of two decimal places. A warm reminder, you will be evaluated based on the practical skills scoring rubrics provided in the physics practical workbook when you are conducting the experiment during the practical session. Please complete the calculation in the data table before you leave the laboratory. Remember to watch the upcoming video for the guidelines in writing the experiment report for experiment 1. That's the end of this video session.
thank you for joining me and have a nice day